We're being lied to. You saw the memo from Biden, was it Friday, you know, saying, yeah. just, just, give me, just give me the authority I need. Please pass this border no, bill in no, Congress. And no, then no, no, I will no. finally be empowered to do all no. the things you want me to do. It's, it's a, it was a blatant lie. And, and, and Glenn, was, it, one of the things that jumped out at me is, you know, Charles C.W. Cook of National Review, he's, yeah. he's American, but he was, he's a, yeah. he was born in Great Britain. He's very measured. He doesn't get hot under the collar like I do sometimes and you do sometimes. He tweeted, tweeted that out saying, you know, you're a liar. These are lies, you know, because he has all the authority. He, he has all the authority he needs. He just refuses to use it. You know, it, 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 are you a Star Wars fan? Nah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was the speech that Palpatine gave before you know, the rise of the empire for the Republic. The Republic is at stake. Just give me the power to take care of it all. He's asking for emergency powers. I'm mm. not giving Donald Trump. I'm not giving, well, maybe Jesus. I would make the exception. <laughs> I'm not giving anyone in Washington any more executive power. No more. No more. They've abused it. You have all the laws that you need to secure the border, Mr. President. You don't need yeah. any money for it. You don't need anything. By the way, every time you have Ukraine in your office, you're like, I gave them another $20, $20 billion. Where's <laughs> that money coming from? So right. don't tell me you need money or any additional powers. No more power. I am on the side of less power for the president, less Same. power for the bureaucracy, and I'd like Congress to step up and the Senate and take their rightful power back and debate these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. No, he, he, no, Look, no, he has do. all the powers he needs, just like Trump Does. did. That's why the border was so much better when under Trump and he could just re implement yeah. all the programs he stopped when he took office. It's a lie to suggest it has anything to do with the money he may or may not get from Congress in connection with this Ukraine and Israel money he's seeking. All right, let me let me talk about Colony Ridge because it it fits. Um, this is an immigration story, and this is a documentary that you guys are putting out at the Blaze. It's called The Real Story of Colony Ridge, and Colony Ridge is a town in Texas. Speaking of illegal immigration, that has been overrun by illegal immigrants coming in. I guess there's been some dispute about just how bad the problem is. So Some the saying, is, oh, much, much, it's much ado about nothing. Well, you went down there, you guys took a hard look at this and said, it's not, it's not nothing. So actually, yeah, let oh, me run a little bit nothing. of the trailer, it's, Glenn. Let me, run, okay, oh, just, let me give you your promo yeah. and then you take it on the back end. Watch this. Look at the size of this. The fastest growing development in Texas is just a 30 minute drive from Houston. Any idea of how many are illegal? The majority. The majority. The majority. I'm like Sears and Roebuck. I have a product, I created it, I sell it. Does it bother you at all, just culturally, mm -hmm. in America, to have 150,000 people that are speaking another language? Own something of your own, own your own home. That's what we're trying to create for people here. If it's the American dream, why don't you advertise in English? It is, uh, it, Megan, it is, when I read about it in the New York Post and I think the Daily News, um, or I'm sorry, the Daily Wire, they had a, a lot of accusations that we could not verify. There there have been shootings, there's murders. We, we hear from the police that it's like the 4th of July at night, people just letting handguns go and just the, the fires. There's There have been rapes, there have been torture of women, there has been kidnapping of women. Um, and that's all really bad, really bad. But what's horrible is what's going on with this developer. There will be 350,000 people in this, uh, in this community. It's, it's built from scratch. It was in a very, very red uh, county, which it will not be for long. Um, there is... The, the developer is ripping these people off. It is the highest default rate in the state of Texas. 30% of the people default. 
He just takes the land back and resells it. He's financing everything. So he doesn't ask any questions. We don't care where you're from. He's only uh, advertising in Spanish, and he's doing advertising on the Internet, which is clearly aimed to people that are not living in America. Here's why this is so dangerous. Beyond the physical danger uh, of these communities, beyond the fact that it is, it is a third world country. When you go through it, it's a third world country. The problem is, is that because this is illegal, uh, is legal and there's lots of money to be made, this is going to start happening all over the country. And you're going to turn into Brazil. And if you've never been to Brazil, uh, I invite you to go just on the other side of the hedges. And it is poverty like you've never seen. And then wealth on the other side. We are becoming a third world nation. You cannot import 10 million third world refugees into the United States, give them no training, give them nothing, nothing. They don't even have to stay, say, I love America, nothing. And expect those people to somehow or another be transformed into great citizens uh, who now all have jobs and are going to put into the community. This is the school system is absolutely overwhelmed and it's happening in city after city after city in texas there just happens to be a guy who's making money on it and mm -hmm. selling them the land that they can't afford to keep it's awful that i asked really him scary i asked him i said uh uh have, have you seen this is the last question i asked him have you seen uh it's a wonderful life and he immediately said i'm not mr potter <laughs> wow, not like you've been thinking about that, huh? So you have to do the hiss when Mr. Potter yeah. comes on the screen. But you're right. I mean, look, it's it's like we just finished talking about what's happening in Minneapolis. We've, of course, been covering what happened in Brooklyn where the kids were kicked out of their school so that all these illegal immigrants could sleep there. I, like, we don't have a place for these millions who are coming across the border. They haven't been screened. We don't know who's coming into the country. And it's we like Tucker also, keeps saying, I can relate to this. My children have to live here. You know, your children yes. have to live here, Glenn. They, they, yes. My 10 year old cannot fight this battle. You and I have to fight this battle. I know, I know. And you, I talked to some people up in Maine. They're being invaded by the communist Chinese. They're coming in, they're buying up all kinds of land and they are, uh, they're growing marijuana legally if they had a permit, but they don't speak English. Um, it, this is happening in all of our states, all across the board. And we are intentionally making ourselves into a third world country already, just as it stands now, when it was at 7 million, I think we we're adding the size of a, uh, an Arkansas. What, what, what? On Main Street, local credit unions and community banks are the heart of our small towns. When these institutions are united in opposition to the Durbin-Marshall credit card bill, Congress might want to take note. Our sponsor, the Electronic Payments Coalition, says the Durbin-Marshall credit card bill favors corporate megastores like Walmart and Target, shifting costs and risks unfairly onto credit unions, community banks, and the 140 million customers they serve. Find out more at electronicpaymentscoalition.org and see for yourself if you want to tell Congress to protect America's credit unions and community banks and oppose the Durbin-Marshall credit card bill. Visit electronicpaymentscoalition.org to take action. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.